here we go. Game three. This is effectively the start of a best of three now with things tied up one game apiece. One of these two teams will be making it. I mean, regardless of here, he does it on Razor yeah. as well. He's... And doesn't it even feel like he plays overly greedy necessarily? Mind control getting pressured. Are they going to dive for this? Looks like they are. Yep, another Rocket Barrage coming out in just a second here. He's going to get the first blood. Gyro, silent. Oh no, Aloha. Oh, that's how it's Still done. worth it, I guess. 120, no gold, and it's distributed. We'll find some stacks now to fall back to. Kuro, ready to contest this. He's at Gnosis, he walks right into Kuro. He needs to hit the raises here. He's got just level two raises, hits one. Second one available, but he's going to need two or three. It's bottom lane where they get the kill, though. Keeping an eye on Kuro, who's getting chased down, but has boots available as well as the telekinesis. May need to use it. Elsewhere in the back lines, the Tusk snowballing on over. Where's he going? Looks like with Fata in, ch in, in jail. He's looking to fight General on the SF. Gyrocopter shows up now. A big fight breaking loose here. The Grave TP General will escape this one. The Rocket Barrage, the cooldown. Silent! He's going to hit level 6 off of this, and with that, Fata goes down. A huge swing goes Empire's way. Mind Control, all they can hope for now is probably a neutral suicide. Rocket, oh, 5 My HP. Man. Very close to getting the kill onto Resolution. Ambitious what? snowball. With a dual lane, too. Like, yeah. this, is, this is not even like a, oh, Dazzle's around every now and then. This was a full-on dual lane from No Fear. And he may just try and farm this for 4 level 5. He like didn't even go for the bottle on the Shadow King. The heart is being pressured. Rubik, how cocky he's being here. He just walks in. Telekinesis is no fear into the stack. Almost gets a... Support Shadow Fiend. Jeez. No. Good times. Good, good. Excellent head, like heads up play by Liquid, just, you know, putting that dual lane mid. They've gone in on top. Aloha Dance, recognizing that Jaro TP'd mid. Yeah. Mind Control rotates in with Kuro, and they get, do get the kill on the Lion. Levels and are ready to fight. Those two heroes are actually already on the move. They're going to find the Necrophos here. There we go. He may have a drums now, but I don't think he can survive this one. They've got a cooldown as well if they need it. Doesn't look like they will. Matumba Man goes down. Big high for the kill. Space. Make more space. I tried to focus a defense on it. It just felt like a bad use of resources. Oh, Aloha. Aloha. Well, he's close to level 6. Won't quite get there. Clockwork keeping in. They get the kill before any kind of counterplay can come out. If Line had just gone off an impale, we could have likely seen a kill here. Clockwork still goes in. He's got backup and Kuro. Nice in trouble. Down. That'll just zone out the rest of the heroes while the Rocket Barrage will finish off the Rubik in the front line. Fata still wants to fight. Only got a buckler for the time being. Oh no, silent. Oh no, there's nothing else. Oh, he's got oh, the brave! No oh, TP, right. and he's just gonna look to turn and well, not only fight, he's gonna turn and die. Better, you know, better than having that plus 30 seconds on your death yep. timer though. But two kills, not even sure. He's so, but I've ne I haven't seen a shadow from this far behind in a very long time. Known for being one of those heroes that just never gets ball. behind. Spine control gets caught out. <laughs> and even when he has a bad lane stage, it's almost always the case. It's like. There is no path out of these trees. Nice little splinter blast. Geeky. General's got his treads. Tread to kill her. Hang out, Jerex. They scout him out. There's the impale. Oh, <laughs> Bit too cheeky, mate. He gets brought down. They will get the counter kill onto Aloha Dancer's Lion, but I guess acceptable for Empire considering they are creating space. They just rushed for that blink after his arcanes. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna walk right into the smoke tank here. Resolution there on the high ground. Gets the cogs off perfectly, but the Winter's Curse will catch up to. They lose line. Resolution could be next. Reaper not gonna secure the kill. The hook out. Tick damage. Tick, tick, tick. One oh, more the rocket, rocket flare. That's stolen. <laughs> Kuro. He was ready. Shadow Blade has, yeah, has been scattered out. Radiant Vision. Very much Mobile on Resolution. Out. So we get impaled again. This impale. Things set up. The cult push is there. Where's the SF? It looks like. Oh, he's gonna wind up. No, he cancels it. That would have caught out Jarek, but it looks like there's not one. This is their detection, though. I don't see any on those three heroes. Wyvern doesn't have any. He can just shut. Well, he's gonna use it aggressively. It looks like Sounds gonna get caught. Does he go for the rest of He's winding up. I don't think you want to fight those five heroes. And they'll give up the gyro. 70 seconds on the sidelines. General's gonna get into the pit. He's going for the TP. Pick up. Definitely has allowed him to be a bit more greedy with some of his farm, just by having the escape. Yeah, it is. It is doing good as an escape factor. That's a little tank gank here. That's right. Anyway, losing a dazzle is like whatever. Words by Liquid is just confining Empire in their base at the moment. Oh, Kuroki. Oh, get fingered. The cold embrace is there though. He survives it. Requiem from the high ground will bring down his Rubik in the end. Mind control also. One or two more right clicks. He dodges the race. Snowball forward though. Will. Or back. Ooh. Well, he, no, he did snowball back. Oh my god. He's gonna survive. I thought that was going forward to the SF. Ooh. That was. That was nice. Sick tough play.
I didn't even realize those creeps behind him. Get out of there. One for one. Heal that one. Oh, trying to find some aggression. Hook. Oh, I didn't catch vision of him. I guess that's that's necro oh. for you. You don't Long see here. Uh oh. And yeah, no real good defensive play. Minecraft does get hit by the uh, impale here at the grave. Wants to sound perhaps a bit early, but he's going to be more than okay here with the TP out. He will survive. Back to base. Two kills go Empire's way. They are finding up there. Probably time for a gem as well for Liquid to the other answer to the Shadow Blade. Come a man caught out by a hex as an impale follow up. Alright, click coming forward. Resolution forces forward into a cog here. He's also got a hook shot, but the damage up into Aloha then. We'll see him go down. Great. Was on cooldown still. The weave now there as well. And Liquid. Seems they may have the numbers here. No fear. Still no mana. Go down. Elsewhere on the side, but Tumber Man chasing. It's going to be the SF. He's going to keep an eye on Winter's Curse. Will prove. Oh, he's got the Requiem off. Jerax survived the dying Requiem, and Empire ended up losing four. Despite. This tier 3 tower going down and going down fast. Hyperstone picked up for fast. It will be an AC and Hookshot goes in. They want the Tumber Man. Come it up though. We'll help him out. Gets out of the cogs as well. Nicely played from Team Liquid. Resolution now. The full stuff out. Gets him still stuck in the chance here. The heal coming on the faster. So much defensive play. The Necro heal as well as the Winter to Wipe and Hold and Brave. It's going to be too much. It's looking it might be the end already. Yep. They're going to lose General here on the front lines. They wait to kill him off a little bit. Worried about that Requiem damage. And what? Well, Reaper killed the back lines. They've brought down the Lion. Now it's going to be no fear. It's a team wipe inside the Empire base. It's going to be at least one lane of Rax. Possibly more. Possibly even a G. Turn charges. Death pulses. Cold embraces. Liquid uh, in fighting shape once more. So much healing. So much like turnaround potential on this lineup. This Viper is just off the zoning. It really is. Jarex just got a, his freshly delivered Glimmer Cave, got put to use right away. Across the board, doing what they do best, playing like a team. They play so well around the, the Viper pick, and it's something which we may even see stuff being more of a target advantage against against Liquid. But for now, Liquid get a 2-1 advantage. Been trading games so far, we'll see if that's going to continue. Empire... Not going to get knocked out of the Summit 4 should they lose this best of 5. Whoever loses this will be dropping down and have a second chance to qualify for the Summit yeah. 4 from the Europe Division. But right now, one of these two teams is going to be advancing. Oh, we're stuck again. What's going on? We may be reset.